Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rianne, and I like to bring you videos. Today's video is very kind of beige, isn't it? But, you know, we're, we're going with it now. I've committed. For today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my kind of everyday, very minimal makeup. I mean, I often just don't wear any makeup, and I'm absolutely fine with that, but this is my kind of bare minimum if I'm going to bother. And I've actually really been enjoying wearing very minimal makeup on days where I usually would wear nothing lately. I think for a long time I felt kind of torn as to whether you should, like maybe I shouldn't feel self-conscious without any makeup at all. And I don't think it's even like a self-conscious thing. I just think that I enjoy applying the makeup. I enjoy how it looks. And so I think I just needed to stop, uh, you know, worrying about whether it was vain or not and just go for it. I think it's more that I just kind of feel like a little bit more prepared, like I've taken a little extra time. I have kind of an array of price points in this video, so there is a lot of drugstore products, a lot more drugstore products than I would normally use. And I mentioned it in my drugstore makeup tutorial, which I will link up here for you, but I've really been enjoying using some of those products as my um, daily wear. So if you did ask me to make this video, this is for you. So... <laughs> That was a lot of explanation. Let's put some makeup on my face. I'm gonna tell you what skincare I have on first because that is kind of part of the whole look, I guess. So I have been using this Kula Tan Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. I got this on Sephora and I will link it for you below. It's just a facial serum, comes in a pump bottle. I use probably between two to three pumps depending on how far down my neck I wanna bring it. And I use it as the last step in my skincare routine. So it kind of builds a very gradual tan, but I really like it just because it gives just a little kind of golden glow to the skin. It's not like patchy, it's not weirdly red or orange. It just gives a kind of nice golden glow and it's very um, kind of natural. And you can't really like tell that you're wearing it. I don't feel like you can anyway and it's definitely the best kind of face specific product I have found for tanning so that's kind of like my base already which I feel like using this has made me feel a lot more comfortable skipping some other steps in my makeup so I did want to mention that one because I've been having like these kind of breakouts around my mouth lately I do think that's from when I've been kind of like under the weather or not eating properly and um, then because I use like salicylic acid and retinol you I then kind of go through like a phase where everything comes out at once and kind of like Kind of like my body is just like forcing it all out real quick. But I do think that the exfoliating products that I use in my skincare make that happen quicker and um, all at once. So anyway, because of that, I have been using a little bit of the Lily Lolo BB Cream. This doesn't have a ton of coverage. It has very little coverage. And the shade I'm using it in is Light. And all I've been doing lately is applying this kind of in the T-zone area or any areas where I do have some breakouts. It doesn't give a lot of coverage, but I do feel like it just kind of like smooths out that area. Because this is a kind of minimal coverage look, the skin does have that kind of like slight transparency to it. Like you can still see some um, freckles and stuff once I've finished. And I just feel like using this over areas of breakouts kind of allows me to keep that very natural look while still having a little bit of coverage. So I'm really not good at explaining things today. Anyway, like I said, I apply it over the T-zone kind of area anywhere I've got some breakouts. And I've been using this brush from Zoeva lately. This is the 110 face shape brush. I basically use this for everything. I think especially for a look like this where you're not kind of doing a full face of foundation. A little brush like this is nice because you can really focus the product where you need it. You don't end up accidentally doing a full face of makeup which does happen to me when I use bigger brushes because I get carried away. So yeah, just apply that over any areas where you have some kind of imperfections and stuff like that. As you can see, it's already just kind of even things out a little bit but you still can't really tell that I'm wearing it per se. If you still do have breakouts that you are, you know, kind of unhappy with and want to cover up, you could always use something like the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in very tiny amounts on a tiny brush and just spot correct. I really like doing that if I have a lot of breakouts that I kind of um, don't feel comfortable <laughs> showing. That way you only put coverage where you feel that you need it. So nice and simple first step, you could absolutely skip that step if you do feel kind of comfortable in where your skin is at, but I do think if you have some breakouts or imperfections that you do just want to slightly blur, applying just a tiny bit of BB cream is a great way of doing that. Um, but if your skin is perfect, you may begin now. So the product I mentioned in my drug haul makeup tutorial, which I then kind of referenced this makeup look after, did that make any sense, is the um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick in... Oaks on You. They have a few shades in this kind of stick range that are vegan and you can find that list on their website. And I just use this to bronze up my face. It gives a really nice look, easy to apply, blend out. And I've really been enjoying this. I've used quite a lot. So <coughs> that's a good one. <clears throat> okay. Does anyone else love sneezing? 
So I put a little bit right under here and I really just kind of like jam it in there, feel for where my um, cheekbone is and apply it just beneath that. Here, here. And then again, I take that tiny brush, which does seem like it would take forever, but it's actually pretty easy with this product to get a nice blend with it. Blend it all over the jawline. And if you are using maybe a different product, maybe it's not so um, easily blendable as this, you could take a little bit of that BB cream on the brush and then blend it out and that would just give you a little bit of extra kind of workability. And then with the cheeks, I will work it into where I've applied it and then just blend up from there because I don't really want to bring that bronze down. Um, I just want to bring it kind of around the cheek to give it a little definition, but you still don't really, you're not really like contouring per se. It's just kind of adding a little bit of bronzy glow around there. And I do think it's nice to kind of bring this on the cheeks a bit too. Um, just gives a nice kind of healthy flush. And then the big old forehead. If any of you are curious about kind of actually filling in your hairline, I did talk about it in my hair extension video if you want to go watch that. And I know for some people when they have like a very fine hair or maybe they have thinning hair, um, they feel a little self-conscious about their forehead or their hairline. So I did kind of talk about that just very briefly in my hair extension video, so I'll link that for you if you're interested. I was just thinking of it because I'm up here in my hairline. Okay, and if there's anything left on your brush, you can kind of put it on your eyelids if you want to. You can put it across the bridge of your nose to give you a little bit of a bronze look. Now for concealer, I'm using this, I think it was it called? Highlighting and cons... <sighs> concealing pen um, from Wet n Wild in the shade Posing Nude. As you can see I've almost used it up but it's amazing. I think it's like $4.99 maybe and I've really been loving this. It's kind of like the um, YSL Touche Clut, I think that's how you say it, with a little bit more coverage. So I really like it and it is slightly kind of peachy nude so it gives you a little bit of colour correcting but it still looks very skin like just gives you that nice kind of glowy look. Because I know for me, sometimes when I've tried to do looks like this, which are kind of very natural, you can still see the skin through it. If you use a concealer with too much coverage, I would find it would look like so mismatched, having like kind of glowy natural skin and then, you know, very full coverage under the eyes. So I like to use things like this to add just minimal coverage where I need it for a very kind of natural skin focused looks. I'm babbling because I've had some coffee and I'm also not feeling that well. <clears throat> I apply it to this little triangle of a, of a darkness here. Triangle of darkness. That's my band name. Like that. Kind of the nice thing about colour correcting, say you want to colour correct darkness around the eyes, is as soon as you start to hide the colour when you apply the product, you can then see exactly where to put more and you just kind of chase the darkness around as you correct. So I find it fairly easy to do it like that if you think of it like that. And then I am going to put a little bit on any blemishes. This does give a little bit of coverage but it's very light, very natural again and it doesn't look mismatched with the kind of glowy look. So I'm also going to put a stripe of that down my nose I think. And then you could use that same brush again if you wanted to, but I think I might actually use a damp sponge. And again, if you look closely, you can still see the breakouts. But what I like about doing it this way is that as the day goes on, it doesn't break up and look obvious that you're covering something. It just kind of like wears away slowly. So if you do feel comfortable using a little bit lighter coverage on any breakouts or imperfections or anything like that, I'd really recommend trying it. I do think it gives a really beautiful look. And then if you ever do want to leave any um, highlighting you've done down the nose a bit more defined, you can just wait a bit longer before you blend out. Um, and then the kind of line will stay there a bit more. So that's just one thing to keep in mind is that like the longer you leave it, the more kind of a defined line you'll have and you just have to blend it out just a little bit. So still very glowy, very natural. You can still see my freckles. There's a little bit of bronze, a little bit of correcting around the eyes. This 
this thing is amazing. I would definitely recommend picking this up. And also the bronzing stick if you love to cream bronze, highly recommend. Everything will be linked in the list below as always, um, along with any discounts I can find if there are any around. Sometimes I will then do this step, but I think I might actually just skip it today, but I wanted to mention them to you. So this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade, uh, take it to Brazil. I did use this in my Wet n Wild video, and a lot of you said this actually works better as like the, um, what do you call it, hourglass ambient light powders, which I've used it as and loved. So if you do want a kind of very light glowy bronze look, which is kind of, you can't really see it on the skin, but it does give a nice glow. Highly recommend checking this out. And then a lot of you also told me I should pick up the shade Reserve Your Cabana, which if you saw this, and I mean it's sold as a bronzer, <laughs> uh, that's, that's not really going to bronze many people, but it does work beautifully as a kind of... Um, a little bit of a highlighting powder. Maybe I'll show you this one just because I've not really shown you it before, but you can absolutely skip this step. So I'm just going to take a little bit on this Real Techniques setting brush. And you could put this all over the face if you wanted to. If you were quite dry and wanted to give a very natural glow, you could use this all over with a fluffy brush. Or you can kind of use it as a bit more of a targeted highlighter. Can you see? Because it kind of like highlights in the way that it brightens and also that it does have a sheen to it so it's really kind of a cool product but I don't really know why they sell it as a bronzer I don't know I feel like it would be smarter to market you know in a different way but <laughs> that's not my business yeah so you can just use that and it's a little bit of a highlighter I should just put this on my eyes Really pretty product. Um, again, I just think they could probably market it differently and more people would understand how to use it then because if I sold this as a bronzer, I just probably wouldn't ordinarily pick it up and it's in the drugstore so it's sealed. But I'm really grateful a lot of you told me that this works as a really kind of nice brightening powder. So uh, yeah, recommend that. Now to set the under eyes a bit, I have been using the Milani Prep Set and Go. I think this is probably the best drugstore translucent powder I've ever used. A lot of them you will get that are like this and are supposedly translucent and you apply it and it's as if you put like white clown paint on your skin. It's like, it's not translucent. This one actually is. So I'm just going to put the littlest bit under the eyes because that stuff doesn't really crease much but I do just like to, um, you know, have a little insurance policy under there. And then also I put a little bit just in here. Because I do get quite shiny there and I do have enlarged pores there so you know that's a nice uh, nice combo and then up the middle this is a really great powder whether it was drugstore or not I really enjoy it so and then just a little bit over the eyes just to prevent any creasing so for blush Milani Luminoso beautiful shade beautiful color applies nicely gives a nice glow to the skin um, I forgot to bring a brush down for that that's foolish. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use a Vanity Planet angled contour brush for this. And just applying it kind of a little higher and further back. Just to kind of blend... Just to kind of blend in with the highlight natural glow we had there. Because even just using the cream products originally did give me a bit of a nice glow. So, um, just kind of blend that up and back. This product has such a like cult following and it's like for very good reason. Definitely recommend picking it up if it's a shade that you like and you like a kind of glowy look. Again, this is another step I'll sometimes skip but it is one I kind of enjoy and it's taken the Makeup Geek Sunkissed Bronzer and this kind of wet n wild fluffy brush and I just throw a bit in kind of in the crease and up towards the brow bone just to add a little warmth around the eyes kind of make them match with the rest of the skin. Really easy to do and this is a great brush to do it with because it's kind of bigger. You can just throw it around your face. And then I put a little bit just in here. And then I kind of use it as a bronzing-y, a little bit of sculpting around the nose too. Um, now I did already fill in my eyebrows because I knew that that would take a year and a day, but I didn't put any brow gel in. So this is the Eye of Horus Husk Brow Fibre Extend in Ash Blonde. 
just holds them in place, thickens them up a bit, gives them a nice tint. Now for my eyes, sometimes I will add some additional highlighter just to the lid and I usually use the Dose of Colors um, highlighter in Fuego. This was, was, la, la, la. this was the Desi KT collab. And then I'll also put more on the cheeks if I'm going to wear this out at night. Like sometimes I'll just throw some lashes on top of this and wear it out at night and I'll put a bit more of that on my face everywhere but on my eyelids. But I'm not going to do that today. What I am going to do, which is very groundbreaking for my channel, is use a lash curler. I have never used lash curlers, I hate them. I thought they were stupid and I never understood, I mean I get it, it when people have very straight lashes and they want them curled. But I already have fairly curved <laughs> lashes um, and they're already quite long and just so I just never have bothered. But it's really opened up my eyes when I've been doing this kind of like um, very simple natural makeup look. So I've been doing this lately. The only thing is, I swear, no lash curlers are meant for the shape of my eyes, so I kind of have to really wiggle them around in there and go back and forth because I feel like this is meant for someone with an extremely wide, curved eye, and I think I have a smaller, sort of flat eye, I don't know, I'm just moaning about things at this point. So I just curl the top ones and then apply mascara straight away. Um, that way they don't really have a chance to fall. You probably can't even see a difference right now because my lashes are so light, but I'm just using the Balm Bodybuilder Mascara. And I do a coat on the top, a coat on the bottom lashes, and then I go back and do another coat on the top. That's, uh, that's just how I like to do things. I kind of feel like it like changes my eye shape when I curl my lashes, I don't know. I've been enjoying it lately. Um, and any mascara mistakes, I just let them dry and then I deal with them after. So I'm just going to do the same to the other eye. Now what I should have done before that but forgot was um, apply some of the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in Guild Glue. Uh, I'm just putting that on my waterline. I think I did this in my drugstore makeup video too. It's kind of like highlighter for your eyeballs. And then I just pop a little bit on the inner corners as well. And you can kind of just scribble it in and then just give it a little dab with your finger to kind of blend it out a little bit. The setting spray I've been using lately, which I still haven't really decided on my feelings on, I do think I like it. I just sometimes don't know if it's made a difference. Uh, is the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist. I do think I like it. Sometimes setting sprays are one of those things that are just kind of hard to tell if they've made that much of a difference or not, you know? This one you do have to do kind of slower, longer, full compresses of the thing, whereas some others are kind of like, shh, shh, this is more like shh, shh, that kind of, uh, that kind of thing, so keep that in mind. Then for lips, there is a few options that I wanted to show you. So sometimes I will just apply the Dose of Colors over the top gloss um, from the Desi Katie collection. Other times I might apply that over my lip liner, which is the Red Apple Lipstick Natural Lip Liner. And then other times I might just apply the Marie Nati Gloss in Flare. Oh, I caught it in my hand. I've talked about this one a lot lately and shown you it on Snapchat and other makeup tutorials, I think. So I'll skip that one, but I'm going to apply a little bit of my uh, lip liner and the Desi Katie one. And then this is the finished makeup look. So kind of polished, very light coverage on the skin, nice glow to the skin. It's kind of like brows, lashes and lips are the things you're focused on, but they're all very neutral, natural, you know, colors and whatever, you know. <clears throat> so if you have asked me on maybe Snapchat or elsewhere what I've been wearing or doing to my skin, this is it. This is what I've been doing for the last couple weeks now. On days where I don't really want to wear a ton of makeup and obviously if I'm not kind of talking you through everything and showing you alternate options, this does take me probably about 10 minutes and I don't rush myself either. I kind of sit there and enjoy it. So very quick and easy and I do really like the effects it gives. You can still see freckles, you can still see imperfections, just everything has been kind of blurred 
um, and has a nice kind of glow to it. So yeah, like I said, everything will be linked and listed below if you want to check that out. Um, I'll also have my social media down there as well. Please do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share, turn notifications on, do all the stuff if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.